All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the equation 3 to the power of 3x minus 3x squared is equal to x squared minus x. So obviously, I want to find the value of x for this problem. So now for my solution. I'm going to first start by factoring out 3 from 3 to the power of 3x minus 3x squared. So I get 3 to the power of 3 times x minus x squared is equal to x squared minus x. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, I have 3 to the power of 3 times x minus x squared, and I can rewrite this as 3 to the power of 3 to the power of x minus x squared. Now, 3 to the power of 3 is 27. So I get 27 to the power of x minus x squared is equal to x squared minus x. Now, what I want to do is make these two values the same. So to do that, I'm going to rewrite x squared minus x as negative x minus x squared. So now I have x minus x squared over here and x minus x squared over here. And now I'm going to let the variable a equal to x minus x squared. So if I substitute an a into this equation over here, I get 27 to the power of a is equal to negative a. So I just simplified this equation right here. Now, from here, I'm going to take the power of 1 over a on both sides. And now, again, I'm going to use the property a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this turns to 27 to the power of a times 1 over a is equal to negative a to the power of 1 over a. And a times 1 over a, these two cancel out. So I get 27 is equal to negative a to the power of 1 over a. Now, I'm going to let a equal, or sorry, I'm going to let 1 over a equal to negative u. So if we let 1 over a equal to negative u, this means that a is equal to negative 1 over u. And negative a is equal to 1 over u. Meaning, 1 over u to the power of negative u is equal to 27. Because over here, negative a is 1 over u, so we substituted that in. And 1 over a is negative u. So we substituted that in. And now, what I'm going to do is rewrite 1 over u as u to the power of negative 1. So now, these two multiply, and I get u to the power of u is equal to 27. So if u to the power of u is equal to 27, well, 27 is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3, meaning u is equal to 3. So this is my solution. But remember, u is not what we're solving for. We're solving for a. Or actually, sorry, we're solving for x. So we have to first solve for a, and then using a, we're going to get x. But let's first start with this. So we have 1 over a is equal to negative u, meaning in this case, 1 over a is equal to negative 3, because u is equal to 3. So now all that's left to do is rewrite this as a is equal to negative 1 over 3. So now I have my value of a. 
but now I need to find x. And to do that, remember, we let a equal to x minus x squared. So negative 1 over 3, in this case, is equal to x minus x squared. And I have another equation over here. And to actually solve this, I'm going to first start by adding x squared on both sides. So I get x squared minus 1 over 3 is equal to x. And now I'm going to subtract x on both sides. So I have x squared minus x minus 1 over 3 is equal to 0. And if you guys already, didn't, already don't know what this is, this right here is a quadratic equation, meaning it can be solved using the quadratic formula. So I'm going to write down the quadratic formula over here, and then we're going to solve this. So if you guys already know, the quadratic formula is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And over here, we can see that a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1 over 3. So what I'm going to do is plug these values in. So I get x is equal to negative of negative 1 because negative b plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 over 3 all over 2 times 1. Now negative of negative 1 is positive 1, so I have positive 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared, which is also positive 1 minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 over 3, which is positive 4 over 3. And I have all of this over 2. So now, 1 plus 4 over 3 is the same thing as 1 over 1 plus 4 over 3, which is 1 times 3 is 3. So I'm cross multiply. 3 times 1 is 3. 1 times 4 is 4. 3 plus 4 is 7. So this is 7 over 3. So I get x is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 7 over 3 over 2. So I have two solutions. My first solution is x is equal to 1 plus or sorry, just plus the square root of 7 over 3 over 2. And the second one is x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 7 over 3 over 2. So please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to your friends or family. Thank you.